Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, today is all about some smoked wings. We had some Old Smoky Moonshine White Lightning along with some pineapple juice and some brown sugar. We smoked them and glazed them. We're fighting a storm right now. If you guys want to see this, here we go. So for our second trip, we are headed to Gatlinburg, only about one hour away from our house. Nice doable trip for a long weekend. If you haven't been here, there's a ton of stuff to do. And we are staying in an RV resort about 10 miles from what you call, what we call the Strip. Welcome to Gatlinburg, where it's bumper to bumper traffic in the summer. All right, to start the video, it's roughly 8.15 in the morning, okay? But you know dang good and well that the Smoky Mountains, East Tennessee is like just abrupted with these distilleries, okay? We got some old smoky moonshine right here, just a classic. We got the white lightning, just keep it up a little bit. Use that as a marinade today. You got some pineapple and you got some brown sugar. So I'm gonna try to make a mix. Might have to taste it three or four times just to make sure that it's good. <laughs> you might not make it through the video then, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna save those chunks. So we got a can of pineapple. I'm gonna see how much juice I got. So I can determine how much moonshine I can drink. If you're not familiar with pineapple juice, um, kind of like helps break down chicken. Hopefully that white lightning helps break it down. If not, you probably, if you drink enough, you probably won't know it. So what was that? Half a cup? So you can go one to one. Yeah, that looks like a half a cup. I put hair on you, kid. All right, to that, we're just gonna add a little brown sugar and Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. We, we can make that work <laughs> right there. I'm scared to try it. <laughs> we can make that work right there. They've got several of them out here. If you've ever been to Gatlinburg area, we're literally smack dab 10 miles east, 10 miles west of Gatlinburg. And we're actually in a RV park where like some of the RVs, RVs like live year round. So last month we did a trip to where you have your RV delivered. This is one of the places where people actually have the RV set up. So just trying something different, right? That, I will say this though, this ain't camping, this is glamping. This, and, yeah, you all thought we were glamping last time. Yeah. This is, yeah. this is really glamping. <laughs> I was able to catch my trout. All right, so we got chicken. From the grocery store. You wanna keep them whole or cut them? I, I like them cut. So we're gonna separate the drums and the flats. Just find that joint and it should be pretty easy. I know for a fact, uh, like in this little area, you're, you're able to like to have golf carts or rent a golf cart. So we rented one and we're driving around last night because it was so nice. And people were outside like in their RVs watching TV and there's uh, <laughs> sports on and all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I can get used to that. This is our kind of camping. <laughs> yeah. All right, whatever vessel you have to marinate the wings, that's what I would encourage you to use. And we'll marinate it for several hours. How long? I'm not sure yet. It just depends on what we get done. But there we go. Some moonshine pineapple wings. Now we're not done yet. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Take those leftover tidbits. Add a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, geez. Take some of that moonshine. <coughs> Cover the tidbits. Give that a mix and let those pineapples soak that moonshine up for later. Oh yeah. What's that gonna be? A snack? I think I saw your jaw clench up a little. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you how hot it is out here. That it's already 104. Won't take long to heat up. So here's our pellet consumption. I'll just put the same pellets, kind of like a mixed bag of a uh, the flavors I've gotten into a Tupperware, and then I'll just fill this up. That way you're not lugging around like a 20 or 40 pound bag of pellets. 
Alrighty, the smoke has dissipated. Of course, we're gonna turn up to 250. Close the lid, let it start heating up. And that's gonna be our target temp right there. We're gonna smoke it for about an hour. All right, our chicken has been marinating in that pineapple, brown sugar, and moonshine for roughly four hours. Open that grill up. And then instead of just wasting like a bunch of uh, dishes that we need to season, I am gonna You mean take, wash? <laughs> what I say? Season the dishes? Yeah. <laughs> You're so used to seasoning. I'm just gonna lay these out here in a single line. I'm gonna season the chicken and then um, flip it and then get the other side. First side, we're gonna hit a little cue that. A little barbecue seasoning just for a little sweet note. Those chili peppers, a little color. They smell good already. Yeah. This might be a winner, honey. And then that back side where I hit it was shake that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter, more of a neutral flavor. All right, keep on there for roughly an hour and I'm just gonna keep moving them around as we go. All righty. So we've been lucky enough to be at the pool for the last 30 minutes. Uh, just a few uh, campsites down, so we ran back here to flip them. So we got some beautiful color on there. Just to let you know, everybody at the campground thought I was eating fruit today. Oh, you're eating healthy, you're eating fruit. <laughs> All right, it's been about an hour. You can see we got some fantastic color on those wings. we will pull those off because I don't want to overcook the wings. So we got a video on uh, crispy wings and this is kind of like the same method. You smoke them, raise the temperature up and then we're going to crank the temperature up on the grill and then allow those to fry in its own fat. But before we do that, let's make a sauce. Remember those pineapples soaked in that moonshine? I'm gonna take that moonshine back out. Hit that with some brown sugar. We're gonna reduce this down, make it real thick, and we're gonna be able to glaze our wings as soon as you're done cooking. All right, once your sauce is done reducing, it should look something like that. Put that on your little cooling rack. All righty, so the grill's up to temp. We're allowed to reduce that sauce. Also I have some of that pineapple that's been uh, grilled as well. So now we're just gonna put these on there and finish them up, crisp up that skin. Well, we have a chance of getting a huge storm. Uh, we can see a mountain range over there that's completely covered. So we're gonna try to hurry this video up. I'm not really gonna play around with mother nature. But you see how good these things look. This is natural sugar. I haven't glazed them yet. Not natural, but you guys know what I'm saying. I haven't. That looks pretty dang good. Close the lid. Let's see if we can't crisp it up just a little bit. Probably just honestly depends on the weather. The closer it moves this way, the more we're going to have to speed this puppy up. All right, I'm going to turn the grill off. Let it do its cool down cycle. We hear the thunder. Yep. I'm pulling these a little bit earlier than what I'd want. They're about 165. Typically, I like to carry my wings a little bit um, hotter. But like I said, I'm not going to play around. <laughs> it's a storm. Being in a place I've never been before and all that other stuff. So. Take that reduction. Remember that's moonshine, pineapple, brown sugar. Let's see if we can throw a couple in there. That heat from the wings when to heat up that sauce. Kind of like the idea of a teriyaki. Yeah. Kind of like the idea of a teriyaki. 
I'm gonna let these cool down just for a second. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. <sighs> There's the thunder. There's my grilled pineapple. I guess I could have put those on the plate. I've been snacking them. They've been soaked in that liquor. If there. I don't make it, it's because I'm getting hit by acorns. Ah, <laughs> they're dropping. I might not survive this one. All right, here we go. Good looking wing. Check. Mmm, mmm, mm hmm. Mmm. New secret marinated moonshine. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> a lot of things you can do with moonshine. Honestly, they could have marinated just a hair longer. I was worried about the moonshine and the pineapple itself eating the, the wings, but the flavor is there. You wanna chase one? Yep. They need to be a higher temperature, but we're not gonna make it. <laughs> Cooked longer. Yeah. Yeah, Mother Nature's gonna get us. Yeah. Super good flavor though. Very good flavor. It's like we we're doing that rib the other day. Would make again. We have extra moonshine left over. Hey, just trying something different on the campground, right? That's what it's about. Getting like know your surroundings, kind of like blending in. And when I say that, I mean like the moonshine distilleries around here are like extremely popular, right? You can't go anywhere without seeing something. So we just thought we'd incorporate that into a dish. And that's what we like doing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that's what the moonshine will do to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chowing down the wings. They are good. They are good. Mm. That flavor is good. I know. If we just had time to get them a little crispier. Yeah. Yep.